Beginning this week, we're going to look at the sonnet. This week we're doing Spencer and Sidney's sonnets, and next week we're going to move into Shakespeare's sonnets. The sonnets are 14 line poems, and they did originate in Italy. There are different types of sonnets that we can deal with, which the introduction to this worksheet goes over. Basically, the difference between sonnets is based on rhyme scheme. So, depending upon the rhyme scheme, that helps to tell you what type of sonnet you're dealing with. Looking at rhyme scheme, the best thing to do to identify rhyme scheme is actually take the time to label the poem. And identifying rhyme scheme is actually fairly easy. I'd like to go through the beginning of identifying the rhyme scheme of this sonnet with you, and then you're going to finish it along with the rest of the sheet on your own for homework. You do not need to bracket the stanzas. I'm not so much worried about that, but I do want you to be able to identify the rhyme scheme. To figure out rhyme scheme, your only focus is going to be on the last word of each line. So, we always begin with the letter A for rhyme scheme, and please, when you do this, choose to do this in a different text color. I would suggest red. And we're always going to start with the letter A. So the first line of any poem will be an A line. And then we move to the next line, the word way. We ask ourselves, does way rhyme with wide? No, they do not rhyme. So this gets the next letter, which would be B. Then we move to the next line, guide. Does guide rhyme with anything above it? Well, guide rhymes with wide, so it gets the letter A. The next line is a stray. Does that rhyme with anything above it? Well, it doesn't rhyme with wide. Does it rhyme with way? Yes. So then we give it a letter B. Let's look at the next line, ray. Again, we're asking ourselves, does it rhyme with anything above it? Ray rhymes with way and astray, so it must get the same letter, which is the letter B. Moving on, overcast. Does overcast rhyme with anything above it? Well, it doesn't rhyme with wide. It doesn't rhyme with way or guide, or stray, or ray. So we must give this a new letter. And we're just going to move right through the alphabet. So we're going to give it the letter C. I'll do two more with you. Dismay. Does dismay rhyme with anything above it? Yes, it rhymes with way, astray, and ray. So it receives the letter B. And plast, does plast rhyme with anything above it? If you said that it rhymes with overcast, you're correct. So it must get the letter C. And you're going to continue labeling the rhyme scheme. If you have any questions about rhyme scheme, please let me know. It's pretty straightforward. After you are done labeling the rhyme scheme, please then go ahead and answer the questions at the bottom of the page.